propagated online throughout 2002 and 2003. Blob Squatch. The Squatch, of course, referring to Sasquatch, Big Feet, Manimals, those hairy, hefty hominids in our midst. Blob refers to a common characteristic of most all cryptozoological documentation. Its blurriness, graininess, its blobbiness. The shadowy shapes and nebulous forms that just might be something out of the ordinary. This is separate from a hoax. A hoax involves intentional construction of deceptive imagery. <clears throat> Author Alton Higgins notes the rise of Photoshop-assisted phoniness in falsified Bigfoot documentation. With Sasquatches, Higgins contends that, quote, most unbiased observers, including those within the Bigfoot research community, would agree that any photo requiring equal parts interpretation and imagination should be discounted. End quote. This seems a valid way to determine the objectivity of indexical trace routes back to a physical Sasquatch and a physical environment. That is to say, if one's noise to signal ratio reads blobbed squatch. <coughs> My research involves the blob squatch, the blob squatch itself as an unknown animal. I'm interested in what signals lurk in the noise, the blurs, the blobs. The blob squatch, I imagine, has been romping around for a great many years before the Sasquatch. Many authors have discussed the culturally and historically sustained interest in the intersection of technology and imagination. Particularly prominent is the interpretation of glitches, errors, and other technological aberrations as signs of the supernatural. The activities of the modern spiritualists come to mind, particularly spirit photography. The modern spiritualists believe that the otherwise imperceptible forces from the spirit world could be captured in the sufficiently sensitive photographic process. Murky multiple exposures and gooey gobs of ectoplasm can be found in the photo documents from the late 19th century seances. As radio technology was implemented into the early 20th century, the audio disturbances, now known as spherics, were initially believed to be alien communiques. Electronic voice phenomena and the mysterious bloop are more recent variants on audio anomaly. <coughs> I suspect the gremlin may be a key missing link between technological and cryptozoological realms. The gremlin is a crafty cryptid candidate. These mischievous, mythical creatures purportedly sabotaged Royal Air Force jets during World War II. Rarely causing major catastrophes, they instead nickeled and dimed the pilots with minor glitches, malfunctions, and other annoyances. Audiovisual media are a variety of transportation device. They carry away the spectator's attention, traveling it to new vistas. Are there gremlins lurking in the shadows of cinema? Errors and aberrations do the gremlins have a tour. To go about catching a blob squatch, then, one must bait the creature's environment. That is to say, the technocultural realms within the infosphere. Individuals who exhibit a belief or a conviction regarding the possibility of something significant in all sorts of malfunction are appropriate to my pursuit. <laughs> <laughs>